Alright, we have here the Radeon Vega 64 from Asus, the Strix Gaming OC overclock card. Uh, quite a bit of RGB going on, three ventilations, uh, quite a big card. Uh, this is one that is widely available um, and for a good price, around 440 euros, I think, in Germany right now. Um, there are others out there more expensive, but this one is the card I think it can't really do uh, wrong. It has 8 gigs of RAM. So yeah, it comes with GPU Tweak 2. Doesn't really uh, say much about anything <laughs> on this box. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a fancy card itself, uh, but it's a solid, it seems. All right, let's uh, pull it out. So, uh, This is a driver CD, not quite sure. Even my Windows machine, which is an old Mac Pro. I don't have any CD drive in there anymore. Well, this is a big card. Yeah, well, you kind of got those cables. Uh, oh, even like little cable management stripes. This is an 8 pin to 26 pin. So, this is like, yeah, for your motherboard. Don't need that. All right. Come on. This looks certainly nice. This is a big card. This is like two and a half slots. Two 8 pins. So this card really needs power, not only for the graphics chip, but also for the cooling, I think. It has a back plate on. Yeah, remove protective shield before using. This is tricky. You can't seem to find a way to remove that. Even though you, even though you should. Ah, there you go. So in terms of connections, you have one DVI, two HDMI, and two display ports. So pretty, pretty good. And you have all kinds of RGB stuff going on here when you put it in. So yeah, big card, big card, but nothing else inside of the package. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, so there you have it. Let's see if it fits inside of uh, my Core X from Razer. Oof. This is a nice eGPU unit, but it's fairly heavy, which is also good. So it kind of doesn't move away. And it's an interesting design. You basically don't have any screws or whatever, just this thing and then it comes out. With the uh, Razer you kind of get this guide if the card fits and it, yeah. This is the biggest card, more is not possible. And that's it. I only have this one screw here, which is perfectly fine and keeps this heavy card secure, I think. Yeah, it's a bit tricky to reach in here with the camera on top of me, but it uh, works. I wouldn't need really a screwdriver for that and that's it. Now in terms of power connections, you need All those three and this uh, razor box comes with quite a nice cable management even though it's a bit tight so this really doesn't fit you have to remove uh, there's one ca cable tie here as you can see here's a cable tie and there you kind of have to remove those 
but if I think it's a really nice solid cable management. I really like that. Uh, yeah, it's a bit tricky. They're quite stiff, but then again, it's all right. That's the only tricky part about this case, I think. Maybe it's also the awkward position to the camera, though, so. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Whew, eventually, I got it in. And now I could secure those cables here. Yeah, that's it. Um, there's this uh, thing underneath that slides in. And there's just uh, inside of the uh, case itself. There's this, uh, not quite sure how to call that. Also on the bottom is this rubber feet thing that, so this doesn't move away at all. So this is nice. And then you just push that in so perfectly snug, done. This is really nice. Simple, elegant, this is plastic, the other is all metal, but it's really heavy. That's the only really bad issue, I think. But then again, also, this unit stays safe, whatever, wherever you put it, and it doesn't move. So this is nice, also with vibrations and stuff. And also, there's nothing fancy about this unit at all. Just a nice power switch for the power supply and a Thunderbolt 3 connection. That's it. Nice and tight. I really like this unit. Much better than the Sonnet box. Even though the Sonnet box is fairly light though. That's interesting. Yeah, so those are the two boxes. I highly recommend the Razor Coax. Not only is it uh, cheaper in terms of uh, what you get for the money um, power supply wise. Um, this is the same price, a, a little bit cheaper. I got it for 220. This is like 300 something and it has the much, much less uh, lower power supply only the, I'm um, not quite sure. Uh, that's the, the smallest. This has the full power so I can put in the big cart. Also, in this box, the Sonnet box, you can't fit the bigger Vega cards in terms of size. Even if you get the 500, those, there's a 650 version now, you can't really fit those big cards in there. So, highly recommend the Core X from Razer. It works for the Mac really good. Sonnet box was good for the beginning because there was nothing available, but I wouldn't go for it any anymore. All right, that's it in terms of unboxing the Vega card and uh, putting it into the Razor Core X. Uh, the next video will be benchmarking and render times with the Vega card and the RX 580 both at the same time and just a Vega card.